Crooked Tree is normally busy with tourists wanting to experience the pristine wildlife that the sanctuary has to offer. But on Sunday, Belizeans from across the country and tourists flooded the village for the annual Kashu Festival, the 16th of its kind. The two-day event captures the essence of village life while featuring local cuisine and exotic foods unique to the area. It's a weekend for the entire family to have an authentic experience. The festival started as far back as uh, 1985. And, and we started off as a Kashu festival and I think it was in 2007 when we introduced no, they, they, it started off in 1985 as the agricultural show, the district ag agricultural show, and then in, in 2000 we moved to the Kashi Festival. So it's 16 years of Kashi Festival and 31 years of agri show, and now alongside the Kashi Festival. And what a huge event it's been. I think we said it right when we were at Studios on Friday, that this year Kashi Festival will be one to remember. I think we did all, all that we need to do in terms of marketing, in terms of engaging our stakes, stakeholders and finding people who are interested in sponsoring this event. And it's a huge impact, the festival this year. Because we speak, the Ugandanic dance group is, is under the main tent, entertaining, and everybody's enjoying that. Um, yesterday, we have the Yo Creek Cultural Group alongside the Pantemter Steel Band for the first time in Crooked Tree. Doing this thing is growing into an event that is capturing the attention. I'm sure by now you guys have tasted the, 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 the many cuisine that is out here, everything local, everything done on fire heart. And I think this is one of the things that we're trying to key in also on how we prepare food that we know when are Belizean, especially, you know, the people, I think they, they come especially on, on the Sunday. It's a dining experience. This juicy but tart yellow or red fruit that hangs upside down on trees is what is sought by visitors to the festival. Stewed cashews, cashew jams, wines, buns, fudge, ice cream, and even cakes are all up for sale. But it was the nut that was in high demand and all these tasty products and more were available from bird's eye view jams and jellies. We have... Um cashew cakes, black and white cashew cakes. We have cashew fudge, cashew syrup, cashew pie, um, dehydrated cashews. Then we have cashew um, juice, preserved cashew, stew cashew, and cashew bun and bread. It even gets a little more hectic because um, people come expecting to see everything that they saw last year and more, and so it's it's challenging, but it's a good. It gives us a. It gives me a good feeling. No, it's not only limited to just cashew products. I know. I see habanero pepper sauces and all of that. Yes, yes. We we had to add in a few um, a few more items, especially things that's local to the area. So um, I added habanero pepper sauce, red, yellow, green. I also added stew papaya and syrup from papaya, pineapple, cashew, and um, let me see, from almost all the fruits that I normally deal with. I just had to add them to make, you know, the fest more now, successful. I was lucky to get the last batch of uh, cashew nuts that you had available. Man, what, did, what about that, about the supply, the demand that there, that there was for this, for this nut and the fact that, oh, you know what, you had limited amount? Yes, um, and there's a reason for that. Um, what happened, the cashew crop is at least three weeks late and that really gave us a big challenge. We, I had to have some very special suppliers to supply me with um, cashew um, nut. And even though I thought I had bought enough, it was not enough. The demand is more than the supply this year. While the late crop season may have limited the supply of cashews to attendees, it wasn't a factor for Charlie's wines. This year is just another year after over 20 years, Charlie has been coming to this um, cashew fest. And um, he's well known as, as, so as well as the wine. And people come and they taste the wine. And they love the wine and they buy the wine. So we have been coming here for over 20 years. Now, is it all about cashew this time around or do you have um, the other flavors, other uh, samples that you guys have? It is a cashew fest and we do have cashew, but it's not just all about cashew. But we start off with cashew. 
We have cashew, we have berry, we have tamarind, we have super, we have pokono boy, we have um, cassava, and we have mango, and we have a good um, variety out here. The monies generated from the festival will be used to finance several community projects in Crooked Tree. We're looking at some projects. We, we, we're about to establish four bus sheds, much needed, especially for the school kids when they're getting, getting up in the morning, traveling to school. Sometimes it's raining. We're looking at establishing two parks, you know, because we're yet to do that. Um, there are quite a few projects and from time to time we generate funds back into the school, into education. And there are so many other community projects that we're involved in. But doing it cannot happen if we don't get loyal people from air to air. The theme for this year's festival is keeping agriculture, tourism and culture vibrant and alive. Dwayne Moody for News 5.